Okay, cool. Now we have received um news from the MK party on how they have structure now. <laughs> uh, I wonder how much of it was coordinated by Floyd. <laughs> uh, Floyd Floyd is quick. Three days, four days, there's suddenly structures. <laughs> so he's the national organizer, which is something that um I alluded to yesterday, well, last week when the of the initial announcement was made. I was like probably getting this guy for his well, everybody with the knowledge of Floyd could have guessed that. So it's nothing wow. Anyway. Floyd Five days later, there seems to be order. Zuma is the president. I don't know when they voted for him, but I'm not an MK member, so that's none of my business. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a new organization. They still need it. Mm, that's even... Yeah, anyway, before... <laughs> Let me just leave that alone, because in this press, they ask, hey, yo, so the person who originally was the president is complaining. What are you going to say about him? I don't think they get into that question. But the one who asked the weirdest question was Ntiki Mazwai talking about powerful women. What do you expect, Ntiki? Are you surprised? <laughs> Maybe you should join them and become a strong uh, woman in the, in the MK party. I wonder what happened to Jacob Zuma's daughter. Maybe she was announced and I missed it. Because there was a... Oh, that didn't... Mm -mm, it didn't look well. But maybe she's going to parliament going to pop anyway <laughs> going, going to do some big in the stallion in, uh, in parliament no, thank you very much uh, secretary general and the greetings to the president of Mkondo is a party uh, president Zuma and uh, deputy president uh, Dr. Lope uh, the secretary general in the other platform, we made a plea for avoiding of mischaracterization of an otherwise correct and revolutionary decision and act to join Mkondoes as a party. What President Zuma is doing with Mkondoes as a party is what the statement of Mkondoes is a deal. What happened to pay back the money, Floyd? <laughs> Hey, these people play with people's emotions. But you know, let's continue. In 1961, on the 16th of December, to say that now that the liberation movement has been banned, what other platform do it? Banned? What do you mean banned, brother? This guy waffles a lot. If you, you know what? Express ourselves. What other instrument do we use to fight for total liberation? There is absolutely no doubt. This guy, it's strange that he's talking about absolute liberation while he's campaigning or canvassing for a former president who <laughs> he was complaining about. Do you see the irony there? Like the guy that you went to the MK party for could have done everything that you guys are canvassing about. Why didn't he do it then? Why didn't he go for total liberation at that time? You know, they keep on using words to distract people. And I hate that. Like, just get to the point. What are you there for? I'm here to maybe see a better, clear way to become president. Because look at those old people, the deputy and the president. <laughs> they look like they should be in a, a retirement home. It's like, fine, there's a clear shot up. But what he's forgetting is that he's joined and within his um level of management, there are people who want to be president of the MK party too. But whether this works out in his favor, nobody knows. What do you think? Or what do you think um Floyd Shivambi should have done when he left the EFF? Which party do you think he should have joined if you don't think he should have joined the, the MK party? that the liberation movement is no longer existing in the form that it's supposed to do. It has been captured totally. It is directed from elsewhere. And then this is a platform. And what is unique about Mkondo is a pattern. It's a purposeful 
foundational approach and principle. He said purposeful foundation. Okay, now he said foundations. What foundations, brother? Because it seems like you came with those foundations. <laughs> is to assemble people who the only foundation here is Zoom. I'll stop lying. Can govern society to come and govern society in South Africa. It's not wishful thinking to say that we have got these ideas of what we're going to do is to assemble the best of the best. So if you were to check even with the people that have been identified now, the first consignment that is going to the National Assembly. If I wonder how many of those people he's actually called out in Parliament. <laughs> if you go to check their track record objectively and not bled by these nonsense of right-wing media platform. Well, well, so news are nonsense now, Floyd, if they don't benefit you. Ah, my brother. You will accept that the contributions that Air Brian Mulefe did in the public oh investment corporations in the in Transnet in ESCOM. Transnet sucks. ESCOM is, well, Transnet is even worse. Prasa is dead. Oh my God. What is he talking about? You will appreciate the contributions that Esiabonga Gama did and contributed in a Transnet. Transnet is dead, almost dead, as I said before. What is this guy talking about? Is he going to name someone else who fucked up the nail? Someone else who fucked up our water systems? Our problems didn't start with Ramaphosa. They started 14 years ago, well, 15 years ago, when Mr. MK became pres president of the ANC. Well, when was that? Like 17 years ago, 2007. Let's be honest now and not change history. And I'm not saying any one of them is better than the other. I'm not saying I'm a Ramaphosa supporter, but we need to keep these people accountable for the shit that they say and the shit that they do. Let's be honest, guys. organizations. Whatever can be said, even with uh, the former SARS commissioner, there have been a lot of... Th SARS began to sh tank when Zuma was... You know, all these things you should pay attention to. And what they want to do is always blame the reporters and the news outlets and not look at the accounting and prove that they are being lied about in court instead of using people to fight their, crim their crimes. They always want people to canvas uh, for them outside of um, their court cases and such. Uh, and, and when those same people face legal consequences, there's no one canvassing for them. So why are you canvassing for these people? Because when they're in court, we are going to hear who's lying. Um, is this person being framed? We are going to get all the details so that we can judge for ourselves. But nah, everybody doesn't listen. They just take that this guy said, nah, these guys are lying about me. And then they do it. You don't even listen. And what they do is they hear the side of their law. They don't listen to both sides of the argument and judge for themselves. They want their favorite person to always be correct, which is not possible. It's not possible. Things which were misled about for a very long time that everyone else who is not a puppet of the establishment is any of the people. That is not the case. It is. No. And mm, people will think case. that I'm saying this because I'm on this platform now only. <laughs> you can check the public statements and writings and articles and even interviews that we did when we came to the realization that for a very long time we misled in terms of our characterization of society. They said there's capture because they were no longer in control of key state institutions. Oh my days. The white now. capitalist establishment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah. No, nah, no, nah, I no, nah, I can't. I've heard enough. <laughs> I can't. This guy's legit trying to push to us that state capture was a lie. It was a lie because white people weren't benefiting. And it was pushed that way because black people are benefiting. <laughs> Which black people? Ooh. You mean your friends or the people that you know? Because I didn't benefit from um the lie about state capture. You know?
the, the only people who benefited were the people who were in close proximity of these people. Now, for him to lie and say state capture was something that benefited everybody, then why didn't our economy grow during the, those uh, times of state capture? Why didn't our economy grow? Why did we start experiencing higher food prices? Why did the rent go down? Why did our train system start slowly becoming nonsense? Why did our health services become inconsistent? You know, all those things that happen because of money that's being allocated for resources that um, are for people is being used. Let's say they get like 15 million for a tender. The, these people are supposed to use maybe close to around about 13 million for the job and then take 2 million as profit. What do they do? They take 2 million, use it for the job, take 13 million, put it in their pockets. And now they want to say that that is the, um, the black man um, taking back what he's. And if anybody complains, they are being racist or they are being white capitalists. Like, what are you talking about? Because if you had taken 2 million instead of the whole 13 million, you could have still had some money. And what sucks about these people, they take that money, they eat it. They don't start companies so that they can hire people. Instead, they take the money, eat it, and then complain still about the people who still have money. What about me starting a company and becoming like a Rupert and hiring millions of black people? It's very rare in South Africa that our black millionaires are hiring thousands of people. I'm not saying it's not there. It's there. But we don't have enough black millionaires in a company with a black majority. And the reason is our people are trying to do what... Um, global elites are doing the black people at the top want to stay at the top so that the black people at the bottom keep on struggling that's what they want to do with state capture let's be honest these people don't care about us they just care about what we can give them and which is a vote if you want to vote vote i'm not playing any more of this because he's making me angry <laughs> i hate it when people change history i hate it you know i hate it if he's going to claim this then cool, go, go prove in court that, you know what, it's a lie. We didn't capture anything. These people are lying about us. That's it. Don't now try and make people fight your fights with opinion. Nah. Rubbish, man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I can't. Yeah, whatever. I'm not listening to more of 